Hi there, welcome to Two Birds, I'm Fiona. Today's class is a 60 minute vinyasa flow class to build strength, stamina and flexibility in equal parts. It's an all round flow and it does include some challenge moments for those of you with a stronger practice. I hope you enjoy, thank you so much for joining. Namaste. And begin your practice in your comfortable cross-legged seat, supporting yourself on the edge of a blanket or a block. And taking the next few moments to settle in, softly closing down your eyes and feeling for an upright posture. Inviting your body to relax into your shape with every out breath. Letting go now of any restraint in your hips and your legs. Melt the expression in your face. And let your shoulders drop and relax down away from your ears. And without adjusting your breath in any way, simply shepherd your awareness to feel its natural flow. Quietening your mind by giving yourself this single focal point. Begin to breathe more deliberately. Breathe in a long, smooth inhale and an equal and even exhale, building a rhythmic momentum to your breath. And as you set the cadence for your breath, let this also be an opportunity to set an intention to move through your practice with the same diligent attention to use your breath as your guide. Oftentimes a harsh or a choppy breath is revealed in your movements. So mindfully attending to your breath throughout your practice will set the tone for moving with ease in your own range and in a joyful way. Taking three more deep breaths in and out. And as you breathe out, gently dropping your chin toward your chest, your head toward your heart, blinking the eyes open, and just pressing your hands to prayer at your heart centre. Breathe in deeply here. As you exhale, interlace your fingers and press your palms forward and away, doming your spine, hollowing your belly. As you breathe in, sweep your arms up overhead, Hugging your front ribs in, grow a little taller through the sides of your waist and spine. Keep your hands interlaced. Exhaling, turn and twist to your left. So you're just engaging your anterior core to support a lift through your low back. And then release your hands down, right hand to your left knee, left fingertips behind you. And twist a little deeper. Take full, two more full cycles of breath. Lifting, expanding on your inhale, revolving on your exhale. And release. Rewrap your fingers at your heart center. Take an inhale here. Exhale, hands inside out, round your upper back. 
And as you inhale, arms up overhead, hold that shape and exhale, twist it to your right now. Stretching through your armpits to your wrists. And as you feel yourself breathe out, release your hands to twist, left hand to your right knee, right fingertips behind, three deep breaths. On your exhale, release. Back to centre, walk over your legs now, make your way onto all fours. And we'll continue to mobilize the bones of your spine. And from here with your hands set up underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, begin to barrel roll your spine. So ribs out to the left, then round the spine, ribs to the right, and then soften your belly through the center. Twice more now. And switching directions. You can keep a little bend in your elbows as you move. And coming back to centre as you breathe in, gently arch your spine now in this linear direction. And exhale to round, sending your seat to your heels into Balasana, Child's Pose. And we'll do that twice more, just gliding up on your inhale, arching the spine. Rounding the spine, buttocks to the heels. Just mindfully conscious that your breath is leading and accompanying your movement once more. And coming up onto all fours now. Walk your hands forward and step out to a plank pose, top of a push up, long and strong through the front of your body. Actively spread the architecture of your upper back and swallow your abdominals in and up. Lightly send your gaze forward, pushing the floor away. And as you hover here, start to swirl in a circle. And then circle back in the opposite direction. We're just warming our wrists, building a little bit of whole body movement, strength and warmth. And as you come back to centre, raise your right foot a couple of inches off the floor, flexing at the toes. And now experiment by getting a little lighter on the left hand, either fingertips here or perhaps reaching it forward to balance here. We'll hold for a couple of seconds. <laughs> And then return to plank, hand down, foot down, second side. Left foot lifts. And maybe play with your right arm forward or just lightly onto your fingertips. Find your equilibrium, not here for long. And set it down. Take a deep breath in here. And as you exhale, lower all the way down onto your belly and set up for Sphinx Pose. Walking your forearms forward. And then swimming your chest through the window of your arms so you find a lovely even arc through your spine. Your legs feel engaged, toes are stretching back. And continue to breathe, nice steady breath. As you exhale, release down to transition into locust, arms alongside your body now. And as you inhale, lift up legs, arms, chest. And if your low back feels abrupt here, just gently ease off with the wave of your breath. We'll take one more deep breath in, lifting up a little higher. And release. Hands underneath your shoulders, rolling back, seat to heels, moving back into child's pose. Keep your arms reaching forward. And direct a few large breaths in and out of your low back spine. Feeling your floating ribs expand as you breathe in. Your belly soften as you breathe out.
Creep the fingers a little further forward, spread all the fingers to their end range and then just glide up with your in-breath onto all fours, transitioning into downward facing dog. And take the next five to eight breaths to move and breathe the whole back seam of your body. You can play with moonwalking at your heels, maybe bending the knees, swaying the hips a little, shaking the head out heavy. Settling into stillness, floating the hips high through the press of your hands, heels heavy. Next breath in, gaze forward between your thumbs, light bend in the knees and go ahead, make your way to the top edge of your mat. Stepping your toes together, heels lightly apart, on your inhale take a halfway lift and just pause there. Little micro bend in the knees, hands to the shins, extend your heart forward so you've got this press into your shins as you reach forward, long through the spine. Open mouth, exhale, deeper bend in the knees, forward fold. Rise slowly to stand, sweep the arms out, then overhead, reach up. Press your hands to your heart centre, standing in Tadasana. And we'll move through three rounds of Surya Namaskar A, maintaining a smooth, easeful breath. As you inhale, arms overhead, eyes up, tip of the thumbs, exhale, forward fold, hinging from your hips, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, your halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, step back, plank pose, pause for an extra breath. On your out breath, lower to the floor and you can modify there with your knees, chest and chin. Come down onto your belly, cobra pose here, elbows tucking in, heart reaching forward. Exhale, downward facing dog, nice firm core as you move. Five deep breaths. Equal, even effort through the arms and the legs there. At the end of your exhale, bend in the knees, looking forward. A light hop or step to the top edge of your mat, toes touch. Take a halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold softly over the legs. Rise to stand, gliding with your breath, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Second round. Arms overhead, Urdhva Hastasan. Uttanasan, forward fold. Ardha Uttanasan, your halfway lift. Hands down, step back, plank pose. Extra breath here, looking forward on your out breath, lower to the floor. And we'll stay with Cobra here. Legs engaged, gently peeling up. Firm core, downward facing dog. Breathe in deeply. Exhale full. Keep the rhythm easeful and complete. Jaw nice and soft, your head hanging heavy. Smooth breath in, looking forward. Bend in the knees, light hop or step, top edge of the mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Slow out breath, forward fold. Come to stand, reach tall. Hands to your heart center. Last round, Suri Namaskar A, arms overhead. Forward fold. 
halfway lift. Hands down, plank. Breathe in deeply. And exhale, lower. Back bend of your choice. And downward facing dog. Front of the thighs are engaged here. Belly feels hollow. You're getting that nice long feeling through the sides of your waist, your spine, through the reach of your arms, dropping anchors into your hands. So the next sequence that we move on to will move quite slow, just setting up the integrity and your alignment. And then we'll flow one movement, one breath. Take a deep breath in here, look forward. End of your exhale, step or hop, top edge of the man. Halfway lift, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Coming into chair pose, Utkatasana, motion your hips back and down. Reach the arms up. Just contrasting that downward energy by lengthening up from the waist to the edge of your fingers. Abdominals engaged. So you stay full around the low back spine. Sink down just a little bit deeper. Keep the arms reaching, elbows straight. And from here we'll transition to balance, transferring your weight onto your right foot. Raise the left knee, straightening the right leg. Light squeeze to the base of your right glutes to support you. Your chest is open, you're upright. And from here to a low lunge, left foot steps back, fingertips to the floor, setting the left knee down. On your in-breath, arms rise, stay for a few breaths. So you're lightly loading and leaning your hips forward and then stabilize as you ease off, engaging through your left buttocks now. Pressing down through your front heel, reach tall, take the gaze up, the heart high. And as you exhale, hands underneath the shoulders, hips back, Ardha Hanuman, half splits. So keep the right quads active here, your right toes flexed. Feed your chest forward with your in-breath, folding with your out-breath. Keep breathing. Take a deep breath in here. As you exhale, we'll move into warrior one. Left leg straightens. Ground the left heel, reach your arms up. And just letting your breath inform your shape. So any over effort will sound like a choppy breath. So as you stabilize your feet, Find a comfortable shape for your spine. Front of the hip points lifting up, your abs engage, lunge just a little deeper, keep the back leg strong. And as you exhale, hands to the floor, down dog splits now, sending your right leg up and back to the height of your hips. Inhale here. As you exhale, stay with me, modified side plank, step your right foot halfway up the mat over into the right lane. Balancing on your left hand, swim your heels to the left, right hand to the sky. We'll pause for a couple of breaths. Use your feet and your obliques to support your body's weight, actively lifting and creating a rainbow shape under the left side of your waist, pressing the floor away. Send your right arm overhead now. Take your eyes down, right hand down. Take a vinyasa, stepping back, plank pose. Exhale, low push up. Upward dog or cobra, just stay with the back bend that feels good in your body. Downward facing dog, pause. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Two more deep breaths in and out.
end of your exhale, bend the knees, look forward and travel to the top edge of your mat, bringing your toes to touch. Halfway lift, breathe in and forward fold on your out breath. Chair pose on your in breath, sinking low, reaching high with the hands. Pausing here, weights back in your heels, should be able to glance down, see your toes off the front ledge of your knee, knees. <laughs> and transitioning to balance now, and transfer your weight onto your left foot now. Raise your right knee, straightening the left leg. Light squeeze now to the left glutes. Reach up a little taller, find your balance. And then from here, low lunge, right foot steps back, right knee to the floor. On your in-breath, arms rise, stay for a few breaths. So you're keeping that weight in your left heel, pushing the floor down and away. Deep breath in. Exhale, half splits, hands under the shoulders, drop your weight back, straighten out. Toes flexed, quads engaged. And try not to round too much through your spine, so just drawing the shoulder blades in toward the midline of your back, collarbones broad, smiling open. Wait for your out breath as you transition, warrior one, rolling forward. Anchor your back heel, rise up. Feel for a firm right leg. Pinky toe side of your right foot, firmly anchored there. So there's a little cave or arch in your right foot. Regulating the quality of your breath, smooth and steady, even and equal. Deep breath in. Exhale, hands to the floor, down dog splits now, left leg up and back. As you exhale, modified side plank, left foot halfway up the mat, balancing on your right hand now, heels to your right, left hand to the sky, reach up. Breathe deep. Left arm overhead, eyes down, hands down, take your vinyasa, stepping back, high to low push-up, upward dog or cobra, just remember to save your breath, move with intention, downward facing dog. So we'll move now through the same sequence, one movement, one breath. Feel free to modify at any time or move into full side plank when we come to that part of the sequence, two straight legs in your flow. Deep breath in, looking forward. End of your exhale, step or lightly hop forward, top edge of your mat. Toes come to touch, a halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose, Utkatasana, breathe in. Weight into your right foot, raise the left knee, straightening your right leg and balance. Transition here, low lunge, left foot steps back. Left knee softly down. When you're ready, when you're steady, arms rise alongside your ears. Ardha Hanuman, your half splits, hands under the shoulders, straighten out through your right leg. Warrior one, floating forward, straightening your back leg. Reach up on your in breath. Hands down on your out breath. Down dog splits. Right leg floats up high. Exhaling. Either coming forward into a three-point plank and moving into a full side plank or take that modified version. Right hand to the sky. Not here for long. Right arm overhead. Reach out. Eyes down. Hands down. 
vinyasa. And if you'd like to do less, just step in quietly back, downward facing dog. Keeping that even tempo to your breath. Move over to the other side. We'll keep moving, building warmth. Deep breath in, looking forward. End of your exhale, step or lightly hop forward, top edge of your mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. And forward fold. Chair pose as you breathe in. Balance onto your left foot now, raise your right knee, straightening the left leg. And then lightly, gracefully back, low lunge, stepping back, right knee to the floor. Reach the arms as you breathe in. Half splits as you breathe out, hips back. Left quads engage now. Warrior one, float forward. And reach up high, deep breath in. And then hands to the floor, down dog splits. Left leg reaches on your in breath. And either full side plank or step the left foot halfway up your man. And swim your left hand to the ceiling. Left arm overhead. And a vinyasa or skip the vinyasa if you need to do less. Take your time, don't rush your breath or your movements. And we'll all meet up in downward facing dog. Make contact with your breath, so you're just breathing smooth, slowing the rhythm of your breath. And taking two more deep breaths in and out. And step your toes together at the back edge of your mat. Down dog splits, right leg up and back as you breathe in. Stay with me, shift forward, high push up here, a three point plank. Take a low push up to a hover. High push up. Inhale, down dog splits. Exhale, core lunge in the air, right knee in toward your chest, round the spine. Inhale, down dog splits. As you exhale, stepping forward now for a high lunge. So feet hip width there, left foot in the left lane, right foot in the right lane. Keep a little bend in your left knee as you rise up. Just as we did in the low lunge, actively load your right heel so you feel very stable there and then lift and expand. Feel all your fingers active, reaching up toward the ceiling. And if you can, just find a nice soft energy around the back of your neck, your face and your jaw. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, float the arms back, your torso forward and come into arrowhead. Feeling the long unwrinkled line of your spine, gaze is down. Left leg can extend out straight now. Keeping your arms alongside your body, you can stay here or challenge your balance for warrior three. Floating your left leg up, flexing your toes, working towards straightening your right leg. Not here for long. Bending both knees, stepping forward for chair pose. Toes come to touch, Utkatasan. Hips down, arms up. Feel really grounded now in your heels. Make contact with your breath. And sitting a little lower there as you reach up. Preparing to balance. Transfer your weight onto your left foot now. Raise your right knee. Preparing for tree pose. So right foot to your inner upper thigh or below your knee. Tap your toes to the floor there. Just pause and breathe. Hands can float down to your heart center. And any adjustments need to be careful, diligent, slow, so your nervous system has a chance to catch up, find its center, building your focus. 
very subtly, see if you can extend your posture upwards a little taller. And experiment with keeping your balance here, stepping back with your right foot now into a high lunge, bend, keeping a little bend in your right knee so you stay easeful in your knees and they can act like shock absorbers for you so you're not tense and there's a buoyancy and lightness to your shape. And keeping the legs where you, there they are. We're going to revolve here. Left arm back and your right arm forward. Back to high lunge. Breathe in. Just transitioning. Warrior two now. As you exhale, anchor your right heel down. Left toes to 12 o'clock. Feel the ground beneath you. And expand. Give your chest and arms a bit of length and space. And settle in, find your breath even and smooth. And try and bring your left knee to a right angle there so you equalize the effort between your legs. Engage strongly through your right thigh. Sink a little deeper. As you inhale, reverse your warrior one breath here. And as you exhale, come into side angle pose, Pashvakonasan. Just taking the next five to eight breaths to find your comfortable edge. You can rest your elbow or drop a little deeper into a half or a full bind here. Keep extending strong and straight through your back leg. Open and expand through the sides of your rib cage. Keep breathing. Eyes down, hands down. Stepping back, high push up. Low push up. Upper dog or cobra. And downward facing dog, pause and rest. Left side coming up, step the toes together, back of the mat. Left leg rising on your in-breath. Shift forward to a high push-up, really strong in the core. Three-point plank, low push-up, high push-up, down dog splits, left leg up and back. On your out-breath, core lunge in the air. Reach up and back again, left leg high. Exhale, take your time, step forward, high lunge, left foot in the left lane, right foot in the right lane. Keeping a little bend to your right knee as you rise up. Pressing down through your left heel so you feel stable. Elbow straight, reaching up, deep breath in. Slow breath out. Arrowhead now, arms float back, torso forward, and try and hug your belly up and away from your front thigh. Chin lightly in so the back of your neck feels long. Right leg can extend straight. And if you have your balance, challenge your balance here. Warrior three, raising your right leg, floating at any amount there. Flexing your toes so your lifted leg is active. Maybe straightening out through the left leg. And then bend in both knees, stepping forward, chair pose, Utkatasan. Heels down, arms reach, breathe in. Stay for your out breath. Minimize that duck tail through your low back spine, extending your tailbone down. Transfer your weight into your right foot now. Raising your left knee up, preparing for tree pose, Riksasana. Left foot oh, anywhere on the inner seam of your right leg, except for your knee. 
Hands can rest to your heart center or you can keep them reaching. Just remember very subtle movements to adjust your alignment. So you're tall, steady, and your posture is open, lungs available. Holding your steady gaze. And then transitioning back into high lunge, you can pop your fingers on the floor to help you along there. Left foot steps back, a little bend in that left knee. And then reach the arms. Standing on the balls of your back toes, pressing firmly down through your front heel. heel. And we're going to revolve here, keeping the legs where they are. Sending now your right arm back, left arm forward. Keeping your torso as upright as possible, revolving from your abdominal core, the ribs, upper back. Keep breathing. High lunge as you breathe in, just facing forward, transitioning, warrior two on your out breath. Thank you, left heel now. Right toes point straight forward. Feel that expansion across your chest as you reach out equally through both arms to the edge of your fingers. Firming your abdominal core light stretch through the inner groins toward your knees sink a little deeper in the hips take a big inhale reverse your warrior reach up and back nice lateral stretch exhale side angle pose Paschvakonasan. we're here for a few breaths any variation that you like if you'd like to stay a little bit more open more spacious your elbow lightly touching down on your knee right arm straight up if you'd like to go a little deeper and perhaps your inner bind here, just making sure you can point your belly button out toward the side edge of your room. So your torso stays open, left collarbone moving back in space so you feel like your collarbones are smiling open. And just keeping your legs really firm here will stabilize you. And it'll allow the front of the pelvis, the abdomen, to turn open. We've got a rest coming up. Stay for an extra breath. And on your exhale, release. Take your eyes down, hands down. Step back through a vinyasa or fast forward straight to rest. Downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths here just to recalibrate through your spine. Stretch out through the sides of your waist. Equalize through the legs and the hips. And then taking the knees to the floor, your buttocks to your heels. Just a nice little restful pause intermission to reconnect with your breath. Let your arms relax. Let go of your effort through the shoulders. And go ahead, reach the arms forward. We're moving back into downward facing dog. And take a light bend in the knees. Walk your hands back to your feet at the back edge of the mat. Land the heels. When you arrive, take a halfway lift. And forward fold. And again, just lifting up a little way on your in-breath. Right fingertips to the floor in front of your right foot. As you inhale, send the left arm up toward the sky, straightening into the left leg any amount. And then just switch with your breath, left hand down, left knee bends, right hand to the sky. And once more each side, keeping a little bend in your right knee now as you straighten out through the left and reach. Fingertips down and revolve to your right. And fingertips to the floor. From here, we're going to walk out to a plank pose. 
and we'll attempt our two second plank balance hold. <laughs> so just find your steadiness. Feet are about hip width apart here, pushing the floor away, no piking in the buttocks. We're going to raise the right leg just a couple of inches off the floor, toes flexed, and then play with sending the left arm forward in your balance and then set it down, switch sides. Hands down, downward facing dog. A little bend in the knees there, really emphasize an extension through your spine. Breathe deep. And then step the toes together at the back edge of your mat, right leg rising, breathe in. Shift forward, high push up. On your exhale, low push up. High push up here, down dog splits, right leg high. Core lunge in the air, just keep moving with your breath, hug the belly in, hollow. Down dog splits. High lunge, stepping forward. Little bend in the left knee, reach the arms, breathe in. Arrowhead as you breathe out, arms back, torso forward. You've been here already. We're stepping forward to chair pose. As you breathe in, toes step together, arms rise. Get the arms up, balancing now on your left foot. Float the arms out wide to the side at shoulder height. And wrap your right leg over the left leg for eagle pose, Garudasana. Once you're steady, left arm on top, right arm under, bind the arms. So hugging the legs together here, outer hips get a stretch, broadening through your upper back. Drawing the forearms forward, mobilizing the space between your shoulder blades. If you're feeling steady, fold on your exhale. Keep breathing. So if you've folded a really slow transition all the way up, come up on your in-breath, hold your best balance and see if you can just step the right foot back, high lunge. Land your feet, reach the arms and we'll flow, open out, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, two straight legs, triangle pose. Pause and breathe. Feel the press of your feet, engagement of both legs. Feel the left and right sides of your torso long and even. And keeping your legs really strong here and actively engage your abs. Lift up just a little way and extend your left arm forward and your right arm overhead. You've got this. Keep breathing. Nice strong one for the core, your legs. Keep pushing the feet down. Eyes down, hands down. Go ahead, take a vinyasa. Or simply step back and rest. Downward facing dog, we'll meet you back there. And left side now. Toes together, left leg rising, breathe in. Nice strong left leg, move forward, high push up. Chest forward, low push up. High push up, down dog splits. Core lunge in the air, make it count, hollow your belly. Left leg up and back. High lunge, left foot forward. Rise up on your in breath. Arrowhead on your out breath, arms back, torso forward. Firm, firm belly. With a little momentum, step forward, chair pose, reach the arms, hips down and back. Balancing on your right foot now. Float the arms down, shoulder height, wrap your left leg over the top of your right leg, eagle pose. Find your steadiness, reset if you need to. Right arm on top now, left arm under, bind the arms, 
Hands pressed to pray. Hug everything to the midline, propelling the forearms forward. If you're feeling steady, option to fold on your exhale. You hollow the belly, you dome the spine. Really slow. If you fold it, come all the way back up. We're stepping back with the left foot for a high lunge. Land, find your feet and we'll flow. Deep breath in. Warrior two, Virabhadrasana two on your out breath. Lunge deep, inhale, reverse. Exhale, two straight legs, triangle pose. So you want to feel an upward energy through your legs. You might have a little micro bend in your front knee, but the back leg's super straight. And then you're just softening, softening the left side rib, rib cage down there so you find a little bit more length from your hip to your armpit on your right side. Chest stays open, left collarbone back in space. Now firm your belly, really firm your legs. Send the right arm forward, left arm overhead. Keep breathing. Nearly there, eyes down, hands down. A vinyasa, if you have energy left, or take rest, downward facing dog. And we'll all meet back there. And taking one more deep breath in and out. End of your exhale, step or lightly hop to the top edge of your man. Toes step together, take a halfway lift on your in breath. Forward fold on your out breath. Chair pose on your in breath. Press your palms here and take a twist to your left. Hooking your right elbow outside of your left thigh. Just aim to draw a straight line, elbow to elbow. Encourage your breastbone toward your thumbs as you open and revolve. Dropping your weight back into your heels, take your gaze up and over your left shoulder. You can either pause here or there's an option to take side crow, hands to the floor, to your left, and wedging your right knee to your upper right arm, gently rocking forward, sending your gaze forward to float your feet, hollowing the belly. And then release, two feet down, back to chair pose. Everyone joining in, arms rise, press your palms. And then we take our twist to our right now. Right collarbone, drifting back, revolving from your abdominal core. Knees in line there, weight in your heels. And side crow, pass far, back hasana if it's in your practice. Hand shoulder width apart, chaturanga arms there so you can feed your chest forward, right angle at your arms, lifting up. Everyone releasing, feet down, back to chair pose, big release coming up, open mouth exhale forward fold over the legs. Take a halfway lift, breathe in. On your exhale, step your right foot back, take a long stride and take spread leg forward fold, Prasarita Padottanasana, turn toward the long edge of your mat. And we'll start to slow the intensity, the pace and rhythm of our practice together. Two straight legs, lengthening on your inhale, Forward fold on your exhale. Dropping your head below your heart. 
finding rest in this simple inverted shape. Connect now with your slower breath, using your attention on your breath to refocus you. As you breathe in, rise up onto the fingertips, walk around to your left foot, framing your foot and stepping through or making your way onto your back here. Coming down into the middle of your mat, knees bent, feet to the floor, or you can tuck your knees in toward your chest, give yourself a little rock and roll. So to complete our practice, we will sequence a back bend, a hip opener, and a twist. If you have your own sequence that you like to follow here, perhaps going upside down, or simply resting in Supta Baddha Konasana, you can. Just got a few minutes here to move through a sequence. If you're following me, arms alongside your body, heels toward your buttocks, feet at least hip width apart, toes pointing forward. We'll make our way into a bridge pose. So you're just slowly lifting up on an inhale, the hips press up and just find your edge there where you're comfortable. And then get the feeling you're dragging your heels back toward your shoulders so your hamstrings and your glutes can engage and support you. And then you might like to find a little bit more lift through the chest by catching your fingers around the edges of your mat or interlacing your fingers underneath your buttocks. Shoulder blades drift in toward the midline of your back. Chest and heart can open a little bit more. And we'll repeat another round of bridge here. So just breathing calmly. And if it's in your practice, you might like to go into Urdhva Danurasana for wheel pose. Now that we're warm, shoulders and hips are mobilized. We'll take one more breath here. As you exhale, release your hands, slowly come down through your spine and reset. If you need more space for your low back spine, walk your heels away. If you'd like a stronger back bend, heels a little closer in toward the sit bones. Deep breath in. Exhale, pressing up. Second back bend. Thighs stay parallel here. There's a chance that your knees may have drifted out to the side. So really just try and keep them tracking parallel with one another that isometric movement with your heels so you're activating your back body and breathe all the way up toward your chest really expand through the lungs one more deep breath in and exhale peeling down through your spine this time hug the knees in toward your chest when you arrive Take a little rock and roll side to side. And then left foot to the floor here, into a hip groin stretch, the right ankle, top of the left knee, toes flexed. And then thread your hands behind the back of your left thigh, gently draw back, open up the hip. Hips should feel reasonably warm, a little bit more spacious here at the end of your practice. But just play with easing off, maybe shimming the hip to the left and the right so you get a little bit more room and space and you're not doing anything that feels pushy in your body here at the end of your practice. And then left foot to the floor, wrap your right leg over the top for a twist. Arms out wide, lift the buttocks, turn the knees to your left and take your twist. If it feels too twisted up, unwrap the legs, stack the knees, 
Slowly turn on the back of your head. If you haven't already, send the gaze out to your right. Two deep breaths. We're coming back to center. Hip groin stretch on your right, uh, left side now. Right foot to the floor, knees bent, left ankle, top of your right knee. And just go and repeat that same sequence. So we're just doing the other half now for those of you who are upside down or making your way through a different sequence. So you've got a register on the time. If you have been upside down, remembering to counter pose. And those of you in the hip groin stretch, just taking your twist now. Left knee wraps on top of the right leg and you're just twisting to your right now. Relax your shoulder blades down toward the floor. Comfortable position for your head, your neck, the rest of your spine. Just checking in. And letting the cadence of your breath slow and relax. And one more smooth breath in. and release I'm transitioning into Shavasana for the last few minutes here of your practice or you can come to a comfortable cross-legged seat if you would prefer that posture as a way of resting and settling your body and your mind Make yourself comfortable. Make sure you feel warm. Rest back and release. Next few rounds of breath, deliberately extending the length of your out breath. Signaling to the nervous system to slow down, decelerate. And as you breathe, a long breath out. Letting the front of your body recede back into the support beneath you. Corners of your eyes soften, your cheeks, your jaw and your mouth. And letting that softness drift down into the shoulders, your arms, the palms and your fingers. Letting go now. And feeling the gentle movement of your breath. Feeling of relaxation move down into your hips, your pelvis, your buttocks. And let your legs relax heavy, your feet just fall out to the sides. Maintaining that total body awareness as you rest and let go.
if you have a little bit more time, feel free, free to stay and linger here. We are at that one hour increment. And if you need to move, start to wriggle the fingers, bring some movement, larger breath to your body. Bending the knees if you're laying back there, feet to the floor. And gently rolling out to your right side. And dragging yourself all the way back up to come to sit. I hope you've enjoyed this practice. Thanks so much for joining me. Stay well, stay safe. Namaste.